Hello Pisces! We have a lot to talk about when it comes to money and relationship this month, so let's get started. On March 4th, Venus will turn retrograde for everyone and will remain retrograde until April 15th. Now in your case, Pisces, she will go retrograde right in your second house of earned income. And this tells me that you've got a little bit of reevaluating to do as far as your assets and income goes. You might feel like you are not being paid what you're worth during this time. But you have to ask yourself if you're delivering enough value. Whatever it is that you do, you have to make sure that whatever you have to offer exceeds what you're being paid. It's kind of like give more and then ultimately you'll get more. That kind of an energy is at play here. If you have been relying on your partner's income more, this is a time to take stock of what you can do to improve your own earning power and I know that you will. On the 12th, there's a full moon that falls in your partnership sector. And this could be an emotional full moon. Your partner may feel like he or she is doing most of the work in the relationship, carrying the weight of the relationship, and there's going to be some kind of change that happens. However, if you are in love and in a good place, the relationship may actually deepen and strengthen as a result of this. In some cases, a business partnership may end or you may let go of a big client during this time. Then on the 27th, a new moon falls in your second house of earned income. And all this revision that you're doing with Venus retrograde in the same part of your chart finally begins to come together and you'll begin to implement a new plan of action to help improve your earnings and to help cultivate enough of your talents and abilities to make sure that you are delivering the value that you should be. Now that you know what's in store for you this month, be sure to watch more astrology videos with me right here at tarot.com.